All right, we got a uh, student of the gun homeroom for you guys. It's brought to you by our good friends at Crossbreed Holsters. Oh, apparently uh, New Orleans is flooding again. Oh, a fire broke out in New Orleans this year. And da, 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 da. So <laughs> I saw this headline. Uh, you know, we're from the South, or we spent a good time amount of time in the South. And I saw it. It said, New Orleans closes Old Navy base. And I thought, the store? Like, with the discount shorts and stuff and khakis? No, no, it's small old capital Navy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look, why is New Orleans, New Orleans closing the Old Navy down? No, it's the Old Navy. Oh, okay. All right. yeah, so it, rest assured, uh, if you're not getting carjacked or stabbed, you can still get some discount khakis in New Orleans. Mm. So there you go. Uh, but Well, you can get your discount khakis between carjackings and stabbings. <laughs> okay. Are there but, that many nowadays? Oh. That's crazy. Uh, people are getting their their car smashed into you can go to church in the morning come out and your windows are smashed out of your car oh jeez. yeah on sunday morning yeah all right just because it's hot doesn't mean we stop carrying uh, i've been hearing this you know people it's the the excuse monster the the, the human excuse monster well wow, it's really hot man and and it's really hot okay i hear you it's really hot well, you know, I can't carry it. Why not? Well, it's really hot. Yes, you can. Quit crying. Quit being a baby. Uh, you can carry in the heat of the summer. You just need to think about it and plan it. And I'm going to tell you that the Super Tuck Deluxe, the original, the OG of hybrid holsters. Everything, everything else, everything you know as a hybrid holster is a ripoff of Mark Craighead's Super Tuck Deluxe. All right, speaking of Mark Craighead, you want to see something? Here's something freaky deaky. Yes. All right, you know how we have Signal? One of the things we use is yeah. Signal. And how every once in a while it'll say, such and such is on Signal now. Yeah. Would you like to follow them or communicate with them? Yesterday morning, phone popped up. Mark Craighead is now on Signal. Oh, you know why? Why? Because that number is still saved in your phone as Mark Craighead, and somebody else is using that number. All right, all right. So, okay, that phone number is still saved in my phone as Mark, and someone else got that number. So someone's yeah. got Mark's number. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was like. That happened to me. And I was like, what? And then I was like, oh, it has access to my contacts. Okay. So. He's trying to send us a message. Yeah, I know, Mark. I hear you, Mark. I'm, I'm trying to help you out, bro. So the, the Super Tuck Deluxe is the OG of hybrid holsters. It is the original gangster of hybrid holsters. Every hybrid holster made by everybody today is a ripoff of some form or fashion of Mark's design. I'm going to tell you what, for hot weather, here's what you do. You go and you order a Super Tuck Deluxe and you pay the extra ducats for the horse hide because the horse hide will stand up to the sweating. Now, yeah. we know this yeah, because we tested this in the sweatiest, hottest place on earth, this little place called Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, where you it's, it's shorts weather about nine months out of the year, basically. If you're a freak like Jared, it's shorts weather 11 months out of the year. But uh, I would go for basically from april to september in shorts the only time i'd put on long pants is if i had to do something formal or when i was you know when we were working on the range or whatever well i guess lucky for you guys i tried with all my might while i was down there to form my own nudist colony and it didn't work so i had to wear shorts for 11 months out of the year oh uh, spend the extra money on the horse hide it's resilient uh, it, it holds up to the sweating. Now that presents its own issue. How do you carry a gun if you're in a nudist colony? Yeah, uh, you don't. Mm. You just don't. You have to. Have to you, you'd have to have a designated shooter. Yeah, Does like, a fanny pack count as clothing? 
Yeah, uh, I, I actually, uh, this is gross, but <laughs> I, I I believe that nudist people actually, what Zach just said, they they put fanny packs on to oh, carry yeah. their like wallet and keys and phone and stuff. I, I and the 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 funny thing is when I was a little kid, I heard about this thing called a nudist colony. Yeah, and, it sounded and like you, a great idea. It sounds like it. It always sounds like a great idea till you actually see who's going to it, and then you're like. Yeah, it's not How the Victoria's about? Secret ca- uh, convention. No, it's not the Victoria's Secret catalog models that are there. It's your grandpa. That's who's there at the nudist colony. It's your grandma who's at the nudist colony. You're like, Whoa! they got some. Stuff. They got some stuff figured out. Uh, stop. <laughs> uh, people are googling nudist colony right now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, we got some input from the audience. They said shoulder strap, chest rig, belly band, and ankle holsters. Ankle hey. holster. That's oh, it right there, buddy. Oh, that's no, how I would no, do it. no. Uh, the yeah, you could get the uh, the the Miami Classic. You get the Miami Classic uh, uh, Sunny Crockett rig. <laughs> but seriously, folks, seriously, it's hot. You're in shorts and t-shirts. I know this. But here's the reality of the situation. If you if you carry correctly, you still need a good belt. You need a good holster, the Super Tuck. The great thing about the Super Tuck horse hide holster and the, the regular leather one too, but the horse hide is better, is after wearing it for a week or two, it's going to conform to your body. It will literally go right back into the same spot every time. It will be, become almost a part of your body. It's going to be so comfortable. You're going to be elbow checking yourself to make sure your gun's there. I, when I started wearing those, I was like, I would get that weird, like, do I have my, I have my gun on, right? I know I do. Yeah. And like, it just, okay. It's, it's there. Yeah. yeah. So the, real quick, ahead. I just want to throw this in. So Sammy makes fun of me for like slap checking myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like where, well, like, I'll be like, testicles wallet and watch yeah i'll just like slap each of my pockets to make sure there's something in there i'll be like okay good she's like why do you do that it's like i, I make sure i have all my stuff and it's so whenever she sees me do that she's like you, you can feel it what the hell are you doing no, like, yeah, no it's it, good to slap test yourself yeah yeah but yeah she makes fun of me for that yeah the reason that you have to elbow bump yourself is is you elbow check for your gun is because most people have worn uncomfortable holsters their whole lives and they've just gotten used to they think Feeling that's it, just yeah. the way it's supposed to be they're conditioned to believe that an uncomfortable holster that digs into their side is what they should have on. And they're constantly aware of it. They're constantly aware that the gun is there. And then you put on a super tuck and you're not constantly aware of the gun because it's comfortable and it's always there and you can wear it for 12 hours. Good belt, good holster. Now you're, you know, people say, "Why wow, yeah, you can't carry a full size gun?" What? Well, what are you wanting to carry? A, a freaking a Taurus Judge or a, a freaking a G nineteen starts out with fifteen plus one, perf- perfectly fine. Uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, I when we were in Florida, not Florida, in Biloxi, where I lived in Florida too. But when we were in Biloxi, I was carrying. In the heat of the summer, in shorts and t-shirt, a Canic TP9 SA. In a super tuck, I tried not to horse side holster, but it didn't work. With a good belt, under a t-shirt, all the time, every day. How did you manage that? How did how did how is that possible? Good belt, good holster. Yeah, I still have and wear regularly the belt that I've had for. It's a crossbreed instructor belt that I've had for. I, I don't know. It has to have been ten years now. Many long times. Yeah. Many many long times. So the point of this segment is to be dangerous on demand, and just because it's hot doesn't mean you should stop carrying. And something that I learned when I was a popo, when we had heat waves our calls went up domestic violence and stuff like that. The calls went up during heat waves because people get hot and frustrated and angry and they start taking it out on each other. Um, 
these stupid humans. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was. It was. We could predict it. It's kind of like full moon type stuff. We could predict it. If it was if there was a heat wave, uh, we we knew that there were going to be more domestic calls and so forth. But a heat wave and a full moon. That's yeah. a real problem there. Which is actually coming up here very soon. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much to Crossbreed Holsters. When you go over there, use the promotional code SOTG. Save some money. Get a good holster. Carry your freaking gun, man. 